Yes. No, of, of course. Okay, thank you. That doesn't look like a happy face. Well, it's the good news, bad news kind of thing. Should I get some ice cream? Maybe. I booked another photo shoot. You have to go back to Italy? No, no, no. This one's right here in town. But I'd have to be there in an hour. Oh, okay. So we just change picnic by the lake to a moonlight dinner. Problem solved. Well, it's an editorial shoot and a cover try, so it'll probably end up going late. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't worry about it. Oh, babe. I feel so bad. You had this whole entire day planned, and now I'm disappointing you. Well, come here. You disappointing me? Never. I could call and cancel it still. I mean, being new in the business, I probably wouldn't look too good. Hmm. And it, it is a cover shot. And it would be really good PR for Fusion. Who are you trying to convince about this gig, me or you? Both, I guess. Mm. Well, you have my vote. <laughs> we could use the money. Hey, we're doing all right. Yeah, but we'd be doing great if David didn't keep cutting your shifts. Hey, 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 you let me worry about that. How did I get so lucky? You are such an amazing partner. I love you. I just hate lying in bed. It's just, it's just too damn boring for me, that's all. I could bring in some food or something. That chicken they served you yesterday looked like it died of old age. Yeah, right? I mean, this whole hospital's gone to hell since Hayward took over. <laughs> Hayward, we were just talking about you. Oh, lucky me. We were saying how this hospital could really use a new chef, preferably one that wasn't trained in prison. I'll be sure to pass on your complaint to the board. We're always interested in our patients' comfort and well-being. Mm. Well, Ryan wants to check out early. Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Any particular reason you want me to stick around, Hayward? Well, apart from not wanting you to die. I'm very touched. And we certainly don't need the lawsuits. What do you think, Greenland? I agree with David. And uh, we better get going. There's some things I want to go over before our meeting. Good idea. Don't know what I'd do without her. How does he do it? Being a creep just comes naturally to him, I guess. There's definitely something going on. David, there's always something going on. But I'm more worried about you. You look tired. Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit tired. Well, can I get you some water or something? <clears throat> I could use a scotch <laughs> or a juice. I'm kidding, a juice, please. You know, I would a little, a little sugar in the system would be great. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Hey, Alice, will you do me a favor? Just a little one. Will you page Dr. Hayward and kind of keep him busy for a few minutes? Only if you promise not to break out of here again. Who, me? You have no idea what you've done, do you? Damon's gone. Colby's gone. Tad's a wreck. And all because you couldn't stand to lose control of your daughter's life. Okay, Amanda, maybe when you're a mother a little bit longer, you'll have the right to make that call. Uh, what would you do? If you knew that your son was making the biggest mistake of his life, would you just stand back and let him walk into a disaster? Well, whatever it was, it wouldn't end up with me in a negligee no. on some TV You don't know camera. what the hell you would do or what lanes you would go to to protect your son. Right now, all you have to worry about is potty training and play dates. But just wait until the day when Trevor walks home with a girl that you know is going to break his heart and ruin his future. You would go to any lengths possible to stop that from happening. So until then, you have no right to judge me or anything when it comes to my daughter. So you believe me the whole Liza thing? Yeah, I do. Oh, well, let's. At least someone does. Not just someone. Damon, I believe in you. Your father believes in you. 
Well, it still leaves things pretty messed up. I mean, you keep going on and on about what a great family I've inherited it's here. Because it is. I, it's, 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 such a, it's, it's what I believe. The Martins are as big a blessing for you as they were for me. But it's not so easy to live up to this whole Martin thing you've got going. You know, you don't have to live up to anything. You know, the only thing we got going here is we love one another. That's it. End of story. End of line. You know, something gets, goes wrong sometimes. You know, people get mad at one another. You fight. You pick yourself up and you move on. Because you care. Is that really so hard for you to handle, being loved? I know how to be loved. I am. I am by Colby. I'm proud of what you and Colby have together, but you can have it right here. In spite of Liza, you can have everything right here in Pine Valley. What, you think Liza's just going to make up and love me? She wants to chop me up into little pieces. Who cares what Liza does? As far as I'm concerned, Liza is no longer in the picture. Wait, why? Did you guys break up? She tried to hurt you. She tried to humiliate you. I'm not going to forgive her for that. So it's because of me. So you, you guys are not together, and it's my fault. <sighs> no, Damon, it's not your fault. You're doing it again. Come on. Are you honestly so used to being blamed for everything that you think it's because of you when something goes wrong? Well, it's not like I never screwed up before. How many times did you bail me out of jail? But as many times as Joe bailed me out of jail. Yeah. Why? And then you have to find out that I have pictures of your girlfriend trying to come on to me?